Ahoy mates, today in this episode of how to play like a pro in Sea of Thieves, we're talking about how to set up your controller because the default settings you start with in game are terrible. Let's make it better. Alright, this tutorial will be focused primarily on the controller I use, which is the Elite controller. However, most of what I explain can be done on the regular Xbox controller. If you don't have an Elite controller, you can jump down to the timestamp below. So there are two ways to customize your controller. First way is through the Xbox accessory app, and the second way is in-game under controller settings. We'll need to use both for this tutorial, and it's the same way for both Xbox and PC. Let me show you my setup and how you can do the same thing for your controller. So here on the Xbox accessories app, you want to create a Sea of Thieves profile by going in, clicking new profile, and selecting which slot you wanted for your Elite controller. Now once you make that, hit the edit button. Now the way I have it set up, you can do the same thing on a regular controller, but it won't be as comfortable, so feel free to play around and adjust it to your liking. Now all we're doing here is mapping the paddles on the back to match the D-pad. I'd recommend making yours the same as how I have it set here so that the rest of the tutorial will be easier to follow. As an example, if we go to P2, we have that set as the D-pad right. You don't need to worry about the shift. This is something that we're not using, but if you like to, you can have basically this be dual function. You can make one of your keys a shift button, and then when you hold that down, whatever button you have set for the shift will do that action. For me, I don't like to deal with the shift. It's not very useful to me. All right, let's hop over back to see if these and see what settings we need to change in game. Now here on see if these, if we go under the controller settings, so you hit game options, down to settings, then controller. There's several things we have to change in here. So first, let's hop down to interactions, and we're going to change the pirate wheel of emotions and push to talk to the D-pad. I have it set for my modes to be the bottom D-pad, so going south and push to talk being going north. Next under inventory, change the item radial to the left on the d-pad and quest radial to the right. Now scroll down all the way to item shortcuts and we're going to map food to our left button and throwables to our right. Alright that's it. What we just did was made it easier to bring out your throwables like blender bombs and our food so that during a fight you don't have to mess around with those annoying item radials. If you're using the Elite controller, what we did earlier now makes your paddles on the back easier to access your item radial and your quest radial, but you can still do this from using the D-pad on a regular Xbox controller. I've tried many different combinations of controller settings in this game, and I find this setup to be the best. Let me know in the comments what you think and what other ways you set up your controller. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all!